morning and welcome to the 2015 edition of Insurance Apprentice. Firstly, I'd like to introduce my panel members on my left hand side. Uh, I've got Buyo Lee. Thank you, Theo. My name is Buyo Lee. I'm from MMI Holdings, which represents Momentum and Mo Metropolitan. And on my right hand side, Marcel Wood. Thank you, Theo. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I'm from Harvard Insurance and I'm also excited with the contestants at the end. Well, I uh, would just like to remind you guys that please relax and uh, and I hope to get into the tasks very, very quickly uh, and that you will enjoy it as much as the panel members will. The first of our five tasks is sponsored by Hollard and it's titled Risk Assessment 101, the Identification, Evaluation and Mitigation of Insurance Risk. Uh, the task is in your parcels and I'd like you to take it out and have a look at that now. Uh, whilst uh, Marcel, the Hollard representative here, will, uh, will take you verbally uh, through what the expectations are. Thank you, dear. As insurance becomes more commoditized, winning brokers and insurers will compete on the basis of truly understanding the nature and mitigation of risk. The ever-changing risk landscape will in turn ensure that this remains an area of sustainable competitive differentiation for brokers and underwriters well into the future. Contestants will assume the role of risk assessors for the purposes of preparing a risk report for the new insurers of the Johannesburg Art Gallery in downtown Josie. You will be given an hour to inspect this unique and complex risk environment, following which you will be asked to prepare a report identifying the risks inherent to the environment and suggesting how best these could be mitigated. You will be asked to present this report to the judges. During the task, both a general risk assessment expert and a specialist art risk manager will be on hand to answer questions you may have about the nature of the risk and the potential mitigation. After the one hour site visit, you will come back here and then you'll have one and a half hours of preparation. Following this, there will be a 15 minute presentation by each of the two teams. Are there any questions? If not, you are welcome to leave now and gather for the visit to the Art Museum. I would, I would emphasize um, that teams uh, start collabor collaborating um, a lot more. They should be displaying some more team cohesion. I think it has been a bit of a slow start in terms of the guys working together as a team, um, particularly the team with Walter Mubedi and Razan. Initially they were all on their own, making their own observations, uh, but I see now they're starting to get together and work through the information they've gathered. The teams have uh, concentrated more on, uh, on information based on a broker perspective rather than a physical risk assessment. So a number of things that they've missed are things like fixed fire protection, um, the security aspects uh, in general, um, and they've concentrated more on peril uh, exposures like flooding. Art is not uh, something that is generally known in the insurance industry in uh, South Africa as an insurable artist. It's very unique because uh, it's actually a specialist uh, area in terms of uh, insurance. We have a uh, different background in terms of insurance uh, skills and I think with combined skills we can actually uh, take into advantage. I think the other team don't have the X factor. We understand that this task is not just about coming up with a proper risk assessment and risk mitigation, but it's also in the delivery of the presentation. Our delivery method is an out-of-the-box technique, and I think the opposition, the other team, is not going to be out of the box. They're going to be within the box, they're going to be stock standard, and they're going to be pretty boring.
So here we are, gentlemen. It's the first presentation of the first task. It is acknowledged that uh, you didn't have much time to prepare, and this is part of what we do here, is to actually put you on as much pressure as possible. Uh, and we take that into consideration when we basically adjudicate what you are to offer us. So, if you're ready, let's go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. We have just come back from a very successful on-site risk assessment of the Johannesburg Art Gallery. We feel it's very important to also touch on the types of cover that will be offered uh, in terms of the risk and also looking into the risk classification to know that if it's a high risk or a low risk. As a risk assessors, our objective is to ensure that we provide efficient risk analysis for the insurers to be able to adequately rate uh, the risk or actually determine the problem. Going back again, in terms of the movement of the art in and out of the gallery, we would also need the, uh, the gallery to provide us with the process as to who is allowed to sign out the art. It was well done. Um, I'd like to give a little feedback. I think it's important that you take away from here that attributing firstly low fire risk to the ability of the fire department to perform its function, particularly in the risk environment we find ourselves in now, the service and is a massive problem. We also need to be very cognizant of the fact that um, attributing low risk, for example, for theft, based purely on the fact that it claims history, is also again cause for reflection. What you demonstrated was a very good um, understanding of the risk that you're assessing, uh, very good analysis of the different type of risks that you can, um, you can experience in there. Um, and also, I think that it was quite a comprehensive piece of work in terms of reaching a conclusion about whether to cover the risk or not. You were neither risk assessors nor insurers, this particular thing. You were somewhere halfway in between. Now, I know you come from different backgrounds, uh, but one, one thing that you should keep in mind is that, uh, that you were preparing a report to uh, basically report to insurers about the insurability of the risk. A lot of times you actually basically were talking of us as the insurers uh, versus the fact that you were really basically preparing something. I think that, you know, obviously in everybody's back of their heads, you have an idea of what cover is available, but it's not for you to point out where it can be insured. You basically need to tell them how they should basically look at risk mitigation in order for them to agree or not agree about insurance coverage. And I think that would be the main point that I would, that I would make. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, we, amongst ourselves, will now deliberate about what our, what our consensus opinion is, and then we will give feedback to both the groups uh, at the end of the, uh, the next part of this, of this task. Thank you. Thank you. During this task, I think uh, our team came up tops because uh, we practically had all the skills necessary to underwrite the risk and to come up with a report that is needed. I see the other team lacking a little bit because they have not actually been exposed uh, to risk management. We had an excellent presentation and uh, we tried to be different in our presentation. We didn't want to do uh, your normal stand up, you talk, I'll talk type of presentation. I've contributed in the task, I've actually contributed my skills, which is the claims management skill. The presentation was very good, um, I should say. I've uh, gained a bit of exposure as well in the, in the underwriting side, which is more of a risk analysis side of, uh, of, 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 of policies. I think our team had a natural leader, and that natural leader was myself. When going through the task, the team realized that I needed to put the bigger picture in place. I am pretty confident that we will win this task. It's difficult to judge how well they would have performed their task, but it's my gut feel that they would have gone with a stock standard approach, and I think we would have shot the lights.